Hey, Bobo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right. This is, I think, a plush brand that many people under <laughs> underestimate. And you may miss it. You may walk right past it because you... think it's just a common brand. It won't sell for much. It's just an inexpensive item. It's not going to sell for much. Well, let me show you what they're selling for. Some of these may surprise you. All right. So what brand is it? We are talking about Carter's. Carter's Plush. A uh, child of mine, Carter's. Um, it is a children's clothing line. As far as I know, it's a clothing line. And I didn't even really know that they sold plush. But I think all of their plush is more along the lines of crib toys or for babies or really small kids. So let's take a peek at some of these big money bolos. This one is a Carter's Child of My Musical Pink Bunny Rabbit Plush Lovey Prestige Toy Crib is the title. Now, this sold for $64.77 plus shipping. And I'm going to show you here. Here's the tag. They did put a video in it. Now, most of these items that you're going to see in this video are retired. They are harder to find. People lose them or had them as a kid and they want them for that feeling of, oh my goodness, I had that when I was a kid. I want my kid to have it. Or my kid lost their toy and they need a replacement now. So they go to eBay. All right. So that's what a lot of these probably are. I will tell you that I have received some of the best messages from people who have purchased from me on plush because they need the item and I have it. And they are just so thankful and so happy. But as a reseller, it is definitely something to keep in mind. A lot of people don't like to sell plush. And it's long tail. In most cases, it's long tail. But certain items can go for big money. And even if it's a bread and butter and you find that person that really is looking for something, it's very, very rewarding. So there is that one. We have this guy who is a vintage Carter's Baby Prestige Toy Plush Bear Circus Rattle Balloons. And it says primary. And right there's the tush tag. They didn't do a close up, but that's what it looks like. Not sure on the year. $59.99 plus shipping. The next item is this ladies, bu ladies bug. <laughs> this ladybug. And it is from 2019. So not super, super old. But old enough that somebody may need a replacement. This sold for $60 plus shipping. This is a Carter's Child of Mine plush musical giraffe zebra horse lovey baby blue hippo. So they don't know what it is in the title. They're giving this thing every name. What do you think it is? Do you think it's a zebra, a giraffe, a horse, or a hippo? Hmm. I'm not really sure what it is either, but they covered their bases, right? $59.99 plus shipping on this one. The next item is this little frog. It is Carter's Frog Toad Shaggy Green Terry Cloth Textured Lovey Baby Plush Doll. 63.23. Terry Cloth can do really well. So definitely keep that in mind. Look up Terry Cloth items, even if they're not Carter's brand, if you see them. This one says Tush Tag is faded and has writing on it. So I imagine the seller probably tried to get the ink off of the tush tag. And in doing so, it faded out the Carter's tag. I've done that with uh, brawls that are marked through. I used to try to get the ink off. Sometimes it would come off really easily. It just depended on the marker and it would fade the writing. So that's probably what happened there. Hairspray is great for tush tags, uh, trying to get that off. Aerosol is typically what I use. There's a certain brand that I use that works better than others. And I used to use it on the brawls all the time. I can't remember what it is, but just a little tip that you might want to try if you're trying to get ink off of a tag. And what I would do is I would spray it and then I would kind of like crinkle the tag together between my fingers without letting it touch the fabric of the item. And then I would run it under cold water. Okay. And you can also run it under hot water, but you don't want it to fade onto your item. So you have to be really careful. All right. The next item is this Carter's Hug a Cuddly Teddy Bear Pink Security Blanket Plush Lovey Soft Satin. 
And this is what you call a lovey. And if you have not seen my video on loveys, definitely go check it out. Some of them go for crazy, crazy money, way more than this. Here is the little tag made in China, hug a bear, cuddly. It's got those words on it. So this was probably just somebody that was looking for a replacement. Now, I thought that I, did I not? I thought I went in and pulled up Terapeak for this one, but I must have forgot or I mixed up my tabs. But I think I show you in this video how to go to Terapeak and look something up. All right, so this one is mine. And this is Carter's My First Doll Rattle Plush Black Hair, Pink Heart, White Floral Pigtails and Bow. I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents. And right here, you can see my custom skew, Plush Tote 9. That's how I know where to find the item. GS 50 cents, garage sale 50 cents. I took a best offer of $45 on her. Let me get you a bigger picture. Here she is. I had her listed at 65 plus shipping and I took a $45 offer. I mean, 50 cents into 45 is awesome. I do the tape measure thing. I like to show the size of the item. I show the tag. Uh, I got a close up of her face. She was in really fantastic condition. And this is just an item that gets overlooked because it just looks like a simple Carter's plush, but it says my first doll. So great replacement. The next item is another one. It's vintage Carter's just one year baby doll stuffed animal plush. It is a rattle. This one sold for Seventy-one ten plus shipping. Super cute. Lots of photos. Here's your tag. Definitely uh, looks vintage. And how about this guy? Rare Carter's plush gray white French bulldog puppy dog. Uh, 2017. And a lot of people are referring to the Carter's items, even if they're stuffed animals, as lovey. Probably because it's more for a baby. Now, it does say read, and it says it has a small spot. So you can see right here, front and center, it does have a discoloration, and it's still sold for that much money. Now, you can see here that it was a, I went in, and you put in the item number or the item title, and you can search feedback. This ended up selling for a best offer of $50. Carter's Classics Bunny Plush Baby Lovey Tan White Blue Ears Bow Tie. 3027 vintage. So 3027. Where did they get that? Okay, right there on the back of the tag, it has a style number. I would say if it has a style number, definitely put that in your listing because somebody is more than likely probably has this item or lost this item and they may know that style number. This sold for $74.99 plus shipping. Carter's just one year plush musical pink, purple ears, bunny, rabbit, flowers, and bow. Again, would you have picked it up or walked right past it? I'm guessing most of you would have walked right past it. $79.95, free shipping. These are the things that you find at garage sales just thrown in a tote for a quarter or 50 cents because people are just getting rid of stuff in their house and they think they are just stuffed animals. Which brings me to my next point. This person only put plush in the title, which is completely fine. But what I recommend doing, and I've said it before, if you watch me often, you hear me say this almost every plush video, put stuffed animal in the title also if you have room because resellers use the word plush. And I think people searching for a plush are searching stuffed animal if they're not a reseller. Because, I mean, think about what you call it. If you were not a reseller, what would you call this? The next item is this Carter's Just One Year Bunny Rabbit Plush Stuffed Animal Brown and White sold for $78.99. Just one year. That looks like a newer tag, I think. Not sure. Does anybody know? It seems like a with the bright colors maybe newer, but I don't know. I could be wrong. So you can see here, came on time as described. Thank you. $78.99. That was a good clean sale. Carter's just one year chenille blanket, blue, green, yellow, stripe, plush knit. So this is a, um, well, maybe it's not. Maybe it is an older tag. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments. Anybody have any idea? This one sold for $80.99 plus shipping. It's a blanket, a pre-owned blanket. Vintage Carter's John Lennon Real Love Plush Baby Blanket. Now, I don't know why John Lennon is in the title of this blanket, but every single one that I saw 
had that in the title. Does that say John Lennon right there? Like, why does it say that? But this blanket, if you find this blanket, it's a bolo. I found it on multiple occasions where it sold for big money. $89.99 free shipping. Here is that French bulldog. And you can see three of them sold. $60, $50, and $79.95. So what would this tell me? If I was looking at this and I had one of these, I would price my item probably at $100 bucks if there were no others listed. And I would put best offer. I would price it high. Uh, let's see if we can look at when they sold here. Does it show? 22, 23, 23. So it looks like the highest sold was in 22. And you can always go over to Worth Point and search and see if they have additional uh, comparables. I would say price it high because, well, it depends. If there's more listed, you got to price, you know, with the others. Or hire and wait for the others to sell. Sometimes people undersell their things. And if I saw comps like this and somebody had one listed for $29.99, I'm still going to price mine at 100 bucks, And I'm going to let the one for $29.99 sell. And then I'm going to run a sale on mine and wait for the right buyer. That's what I'm going to do. What would you guys do? How do you guys do your plush when you're looking at comps? The next item is another one of those John Lennon baby blankets. $84.97 plus shipping on that. And Carter's Precious First Solid Pink Teddy Bear Plush Lovey Soft Toy, nine inches. Look at it, guys. It's just a simple plush. So many people miss it. So many people miss it. It's just, it's a bear. It's common. It looks common. It looks like something that wouldn't be a big money bolo. $94.49 plus shipping on that. Here's another Carter's Classics Prestige Teddy Bear Red Ribbon Plush 19-inch stuffed toy lovey, $99.99 plus shipping. Here is a Jungle Safari Blanket lovey trim, 30 by 45. It's new with tags. I don't know if it's new old stock or if it's just new with tags, but either way, it's discontinued. It's 2007. There it is. So this is a discontinued pattern. And I probably would have put retired in the title or 2007, but they did fine. It sold for $129.99 plus shipping. Here is, I'm sorry, they took a best offer. I went over to Terapeak. So you can go into Terapeak, you can put the title in, and then that will tell you what it actually sold for. So they took a best offer of 100, which is still absolutely crazy for a blanket, right? Here's a vintage Carter's Just One Year Pink Bunny Stripe Velour My First Hug baby plush. Look how stinking cute that is, but definitely pre-owned. I mean, come on. Let's see what it sold for. We're over on Terapeak. They took a best offer of $140 plus shipping. This one is mine. Carter's Monster Alien Green Teal Plush Orange Horn Stuffed Animal. And I shared this in another video, but I had to bring it back for the Carter's video because when I ran comps on this thing, I could not believe my eyes. It's from 2015. You can see I put retired 2015 in the title. I think it's important. I think people search it. Maybe I'm wrong, but this sold for, I think I took a best offer of $40 for this one. I think, I think that's it. I thought I put it here. No, I didn't. Okay, maybe, no, maybe that one sold for full asking. I can't remember. It was either $40 or uh, it sold for full asking. I also told you about the Carter's security blanket that sold for $9.30. You probably saw this in my bread and butter video, but it's just a blanket and I sold it for $9.30 plus shipping. The person returned it. I don't even know why. I, maybe they thought it was a big blanket. I don't know. The dimensions are definitely in the photos and the tag. I've got all of it. The tag was actually cut on this. I used Google Lens to figure it out. So they got it. They decided they didn't want it. They returned it and I resold it within a day or two. It was still at the PO box. I relisted it while it was at the PO box. N never in a million years did I think that it would sell that quickly. So I had to make a special trip to the PO box for this $9.30 plus shipping security blanket, but happy for every sale was just happy that it sold and was happy that when I opened it, it was in good condition and not used. <laughs> so you just never know when you get returns. Would I recommend relisting your item before you have it in your hand? No, probably not. I mean, 
No, don't do that. Don't do not do that. That was not a good choice. And the other one I sold here is this Carter's Orange Plush Fox Tan Brown White Lovey Soft Toy Security Blanket with Leaves. And I sold this for $14. If you guys have not seen my Lovey video, go check it out. Oh my goodness. Crazy what they sell for. This was in Plush Tote 8 and I got it at a garage sale for $2. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, in my videos, I'm going to be wearing a necklace in the next probably few that you see. I will be bringing that necklace to Whatnot and selling it. So if anybody likes my necklace, it's beaded. It's really, really amazing. I'm going to be auctioning this off over at Whatnot. And if you're not following me on Whatnot, I'm Bolo Buddies, all one word, lowercase over there. This is, this is beaded and super cool. Um, Bolo Buddies, all one word. But if you're not on Whatnot yet, you can use my link down below and get $15 to shop. That is my referral link. So definitely use that. And if you want to sell on Whatnot, there's another link for that. So I'm going to be selling this over on Whatnot. So come and follow me if you like this type of beaded jewelry. I thought it looked good with my orange hat. Now the earrings I'm keeping, these were a gift from Miss Jill. Miss Jill, if you're watching, thank you so much. I love them. And... Um, they're not being sold. Those are mine. Hashtag keeper. All right, you guys, that was cheesy. Hashtag keeper. I always put that in my videos, like in writing when I'm keeping something and I'm unboxing something. Anyway, but it sounds a little ridiculous when I say it. Like, what am I, like 15? <laughs> hashtag. Hashtag. All right. Okay. All right. Enough. Uh, hope to see you guys on Whatnot. It's a lot of fun. Uh, Sometimes I'm a little silly over there. So come watch. Even if you don't buy anything, just come hang out and hope to see you there. Um, I'll link some of my shows down below. You guys can bookmark them and I will see you soon. And thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. And let me know if you think this is an underestimated bolo and that you would have walked past it. Thanks for watching.